Hi, I'm Kodiak, and this is the Birch Tree Honey and Oats of Bear News. We'll worry about the name later. Today, I got three new exciting stories for you. First off, Destiny. Right after release of uh, Destiny's 1.1.1 patch, they're already talking about making more patches. Community manager, Dustin Dog. Dig, dog, dig, diggle. <laughs> States that there will always be another evolution in the pipeline. We're still weeks away, but before House of Wolves finally... Fucking, who writes this stuff? I fucking write it. God damn it. Oh, all right. We're still weeks away, but before House of Wolves begins its descent into our stratosphere with its precious cargo in tow, you can expect at least one more update to come in for a landing. In regards to 1.1.1 bugs, Bungie said to take caution in using the app for managing your items during loading screens and mission timer countdowns, saying they're working on the issues and other bugs are known to them, and they are working it out. In other news, Dying Light reached top sales in the UK. Two weeks after its delayed release, uh, Dying Light is still at the top of the board, replacing the Order 1886's top game to sell during its release. The Order 1886, which has nosedived from 1st all the way down to 7th. In case you were wondering, Evolution ranks in 9th on that list. You want the rest of the list? Go ahead and check the link down below. I'll post it all there. Yeah, I'm checking my phone on camera. This will make funny bloopers. And our final story today is Ubisoft is developing a new game to fight Lazy Eye. Lazy Eye is a disorder that actually affects 1-5% to of the total population that causes the brain to not properly recognize one eye isn't working properly and so it shuts off the optic center or I guess power to that eye making it go lazy. Standard treatments for the condition usually include covering one eye with an eye patch making the weak eye work harder in order to keep up with the strong eye. However, patients aren't really fond of using this method as you walking around in an eye patch. You look like a pirate. Not very fun. So, this new method, which is actually a game, uses red and blue colors in addition to stereoscopic glasses, aka 3D glasses, if, you know, fancy words, to make both eyes work together and train the brain to use them both equally. Pending FDA approval, this will be available worldwide as a treatment for lazy eye or amblyopia. 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 Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you like my stories, go ahead and give me a like. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I plan on doing more, and uh, I will see you next time. Bears.